Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I recently purchased a new laptop, the ROG Zephyrus G14 from ASUS, and there's a lot that I like about this computer. It's a very nice 14-inch form factor, not too much bigger than my 14-inch MacBook Pro. It has a Ryzen 9 CPU, a RTX 4000 series graphics card, um, and pretty much everything about this is perfect for my needs. That's except for the fact that it only comes with 16 gigabytes of memory and the max that it could be configured with was 32 because there's 16 gigabytes soldered onto the board on this laptop plus an additional DDR5 SODIMM slot for memory upgrades. So you can get it with a 16 gig card pre-installed. But for me, I wanted a bit more than that. And so I was wondering, what is the maximum that you can put in this laptop? Historically, you've been able to get 32 gigabyte memory modules, and that's pretty much the biggest they've gotten for most laptops, which would bring me to a total of 48. But what I recently discovered, and what some of you may not be familiar with, is the fact that 48 gigabyte modules now exist on a single stick with DDR5 SODIMM memory. This is because DDR5 enables memory manufacturers to make what's called non-binary memory. Non-binary referring to the fact that they can make individual modules that come in capacities other than a power of 2, like 8, 16, or 32 gigabytes. So 24 gigabyte and 48 gigabyte, which is what I have here, SODIMM memory modules are now commonly available for upgrading your system which is perfect, that's great news, because 64 gigabytes is exactly what I was looking for in alternative laptop brands, if I can get this 48 plus the 16 gigabytes already on here to work properly. However, there is a potential problem with this, which is that non-binary memory is not always compatible with all CPUs and motherboards. And for my ROG laptop, I couldn't find anybody online who had performed this type of upgrade before to 64 gigabytes. It seems that most people stop at 32, so I figured the best way to find out whether I could get a full 64 gigs of memory in this laptop would be to open it up and try it for myself. So that's what we'll do here today. Get my iFixit toolkit. Not a sponsor, I just like their products. <laughs> nobody, nobody is sponsoring this content. And let's see, there's 11 screws on the bottom of this. So we will take them all out. There they are, all nicely organized on my tray here. And we can pop this cover, should just come right off like that. And the nice thing about this laptop is everything is pretty easily accessible. You'll see right here under this flap, there's a memory slot. This can just slide right in there. Pop it in and hopefully the rest of this is pretty uneventful. I should be able to boot this up and see, in theory, 64 gigabytes total RAM in my laptop. Which is perfect for me because I like to run lots of virtual machines. I should probably screw in the bottom screws instead of just having them fly everywhere. But yeah, stuff like virtual machines, stuff like um, I want to run some AI related programs on here, all of that stuff requires a lot of memory. I didn't put in all the screws because I don't know if this is going to work, but we'll power it on. I think that it's dead, so I'll plug it in and then power it on. And it lights up, so hopefully that's a good sign. Turning on now. We'll see, uh, we'll see what we have installed here. This computer is super fast. Earlier I put a one terabyte SSD in this as well, so should be should be pretty speedy. And open up task manager. So let's see here. Check the performance tab, and we see, yep, 64 gigabytes of memory, right, installed on there. Take a better video here. Two of two slots used, SODIMM form factor, but yeah, we have, it just showed up right away. I guess I'll run some memory tests on this, make sure that the memory that I got 
is good. But yeah, everything about this 48 gigabyte memory module seems to work perfectly. You just plug it in and you have 64 gigabytes of memory. So I can confirm here that the 2023 Zephyrus G14 does support up to 64 gigs of memory. Um, I haven't seen any 64 gigabyte or higher available like memory modules. So I think this, this is gonna be the best you can do with this specific computer. Obviously, if you have a laptop with two slots instead of just the one on this, you could potentially combine two 48s for a total of 96. But again, that's gonna depend on the laptop that you have. But for my purposes, this upgrade was a resounding success. I'm super excited to be able to have a total of 64 gigabytes of memory all in this nice little machine with a Ryzen 9 processor. Um, this is perfect. So anyways, this was just a short little video on upgrading my laptop. Um, I'm thinking about doing some more hardware related videos in the future. I got a new Synology NAS that I just set up that was super easy and fun to set up and I'd love to talk to you more about that. Um, and I'm working on some more privacy related videos in the future and that's going to come out as well. Um, if you want to see more videos from me, get subscribed to the channel and check out some of my other videos. And I hope to see you again real soon. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha.